This is the Tacti Board with Stuart Pearce. I'm going to touch on some of the uh, lessons and, and things that we can improve on from the Senegal game, which are really prevalent going into the France game. First off, I was a little bit critical of us playing out from the back. I thought we could have given the platform for the team to build a lot better than we actually did. Problems we had. Two centre half split to get out. One centre forward went to the man with the ball, whoever that was. So if it went in here, let's say it went in here um, to John Stones. He would have got pressed by the striker. This number 10 would have been in and around Declan Rice trying to stop him receive. When the ball was crossed here to Maguire, he would have detached himself from Declan and gone and pressed here with this one coming back. Now, what we should have been doing was this, making sure there's enough width between the two centre halves to make it impossible for these two to deal with three. So, when the ball did come here to Maguire, Maguire's got to make ground quickly, Shaw's got to push up the line, he's got to commit him, and then all of a sudden this chain of events happens here where you've got an overload. So it's Maguire driving with the ball, not putting the ball at risk in any way, then he feeds Shaw, and then you've got Bellingham coming across to help. You've got the width on the side of Foden and you've got potential movement as well in behind by Kane if you want it or into feet with a double bump and a pass. We've done it on two or three occasions early on in the game, but we lost our way a little bit and struggled to, to play out. How do you solve that? Well, he has got to make sure whichever one of these are free, and they receive the ball, they've got to drive with the ball if they've got space in front of them. And probably more importantly, that will go into the France game, Declan Rice has got to work a little bit harder to get on the ball. He, he can't be drawn back into between these centre-halves. All of a sudden, that's too congested, we won't get out. He's got to pull away from there, and we've got to somehow find him with the ball, either working across here or pulling away to get turned and then start either travelling with the ball to knock over the opposition and commit players, or alternatively looking to find this range of passing to hurt the opposition or slide balls through the line to Henderson and Bellingham. Now, other side of that game as well that we didn't do particularly well, pressing from the front. Henderson does it dynamically. I would like to see one or two other players or collectively as a group, us pressing hard from the front. What we did exceptionally well when we unhinged the opposition on the counter-attack, we looked fantastically good. We played through them, our three goals almost come from semi-counter-attack efforts. So if we can turn the ball over when the opposition has spread, we've got a good chance of hurting them. Take that into the France game. Similar things going to uh, potentially be facing us. Two wide players here in Mbappe and Dembele. Centre forward in Giroud, Griezmann in behind. It's which team deal with the respective front fours or come out on top come the weekend. So, if we can get on top of this front four, big problems in the wide areas, we know about Mbappe. We've got a player against Mbappe who's got pace. This is the slight change I would make tactically to England. We've played with Declan as a holder with two players advanced of him. In possession, no problem at all. Play like that, you've got the 3v2 overload and your outlet, if it gets tight, back to the goalkeeper. I'm expecting Declan to work a little bit harder to get on the ball, or central defenders, if they're clear and they can advance with the ball, to make ground, start attacks, build things, and that chain of events, who comes and engages him, all of a sudden you've got space in behind. That's what we're looking for. Out of possession, this is the finite change that we're looking for. For me, when you're out of possession, Declan Rice to play on the right-hand side of our midfield with potentially the other midfield player on this left side drop in. So it looks more like a two and a one. Why do we do that? Ball in, we need to starve the ball to Mbappe. Real, real threat for them. You can talk around other players, but he's the big threat for us. We got pace up against him, but we don't need to isolate Carl Walker. What we need to do is Carl Walker engages. If we can stop the supply line into him, all well and good. First one to engage and get across, Declan Rice. Does it fantastically well for West Ham. I've seen him employ it for West Ham over the last couple of years when we feel as though there's a threat on this side of the pitch. Declan slides across and that's the doubling up situation. Keeps your central defenders intact, two against one. And then if Griezmann comes into the box, we pass him on. If not, 
either Henderson or Bellingham, whichever one, if, if that's the personnel we're using, drop back in and deal with him and we're in shape just nicely, nullifying with pace and power their biggest threat. That's really important we do that. Also as well, the counter-attack. The counter-attack's gonna be vital. We've shown against Senegal we can pass. The clinical nature of our passing's fantastic. I think against France we'll get more chance to counter-attack. They're a better side. They won't respect us as much as Senegal. They'll probably even go into the game as, as favourites within the game. It's really important, the counter-attack opportunities. We're clinical, we're, we're fast on the counter-attack, and we've shown we can score goals on the counter. And the big one for me, this area in midfield, we get that right, three captains within the ranks of, of our midfield. If we go Henderson, Rice and Bellingham once again, those three captains of their club, engine room of England, the energy that they've got, they've got to bring that to the party and dominate their midfield three and nullify Griezmann because he's enjoying his role as a number 10 at this moment in time. We've got to make sure, yes, it's all right getting drawn across either side and making sure we snuff any pressure out in the wide areas, but really important as well, pick Griezmann up. That's the plan.